Hello everybody! This is the 11th episode for season 7. And I have my final guest of, of the season, my bro. And your topic is? Networking. Yes, networking. A vital element to our success as not only human beings, but as minorities. See, what we do is we lack the resources to, to network because we don't have social, social capital in our communities. We have nobody telling us that you need to go, go here. If we have a goal, right, or an aspiration to be something in our lives, how are we going to do it staying in, in our little corner? You're not going to get the resources that you need by being here. Like, like Tyrese Gibson said, out of sight, out of mind. So if you're not networking, asking people, can I get your, your number? Can I get your, in, your information? Can I get something, some, some resource, some information so that you as a person can gain more knowledge so, so that your dream can actually come, come true and how you're supposed to do it? We need to, to have a, these resources. I'm making my own business cards. I'm doing what I need to do so that I can make it from point A to point B, then point B to point, point C. So Kenny. How do you how do you use networking as a vital tool in your life? Um, I feel like networking is really important because, um, like you said before, it allows you to build connections and relationships with different people. Um, in my life, I use um, networking in a lot of different ways. It can be anywhere from knowing a professor in college, knowing um, a counselor, or anybody in your community that can help you out, maybe get a job. For example, I work at Brother Bear Workshop and I had a connection. The manager, I knew the manager there and he was able to get me that job. And I was also able to get a promotion in my, uh, in Build the Bay Workshop. <laughs> Ignore that, no, no, it's fine. Um, so, yeah, I was able to get a, a promotion in Build the Bay Workshop. I uh, moved up to being able to train to be a manager. So I just feel like it's very important, you know, be able to have connections, knowing people. It's, it just benefits you in every single way. Exactly, it benefits you. He said it just just, just by knowing a, a professor. But in order to know a professor, you got to do this: talk, speak up. And, and and what we do is we actually stay quiet. We, we stay quiet because we're we're so afraid of get, getting help because we think that by getting help that we're weak. We think by asking for help that we're useless. But no, we have to use our 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 brains by not allowing our pride and ego to get the best of us so so that we can ask people for, for help. Networking is that tool that's going to make us su 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 succeed more. Yes. A lot of people think that, you know, you're in your little bubble and, oh, I have a few friends and I'll be fine. But that's not how it really works. You know, you yes. got to step outside your comfort zone at the same time and build those type of relationships with, with, with people that you may not even be friends with or comfortable with because exactly. at the end of the day, they may get you where you want to be or where you need to be. Exactly. Friends, acquaintances. There is a difference. And it's okay that you have those those net, net networking skills with, with your friends. But hey, your, your friends may not have the resources or the ability to get you that, that, that job at Goldman Sachs, to get you that, that job or that, or, or that internship at, this, at, at, at these great corporations. They may not be able to, and, for, and if, if that's the case, you, you need to speak up. You need to talk because you by you being quiet, it's not going to help. It's not going to help. You have the ability to use your, your voice as, as a tool to network and gain knowledge. So use it. Thank you.